We've been getting blessed with so much blue sky here the last week. I mean, it's been pretty cold temps, but can't complain. Good snow and sun. What more can you ask for? It's a busy day here in Boulder for a Thursday. I think this guy's a little paranoid. Nope. We're getting another super late start here today. It's me with three Jerry's today. Derek, uh, his world had broke yesterday, so he took that sled to the dealer today, and he went to pick up my 154 Expert. He should have probably just rode like my Polaris or something today, and did that tomorrow, because I'm sure tomorrow's not gonna be this freaking nice. If we look over there, it looks like this guy's got a full Yamaha motor on board with him. Don't know, don't know why. I'm not sure how, but yesterday I took a big chunk out of this ski rate there. And then this ski is the one that Cody screwed the, the other day. Uh, I do have a new ski for that side, but now it looks like I need a new ski for the other side too. Must have been a good rock. So we're gonna swap this ski out quick with this one, but they don't put the ski loops on the new ski, so we gotta take these metal pieces. I don't even know what you call them. They're not rivets, but there's a trick to taking them out. I don't really remember. I think I'm just gonna heat them up and uh, see if they'll come out. So if we had an easy out to put into this, it'd probably be the best way to get it out, but we don't have one here in the parking lot. So we're trying to improvise with a Torx and hopefully we can kind of screw it out, even though it's not a screw. They're pretty tight, eh? It might be hot. <laughs> oh, now he's a needle nose. Got this ski loop off of here. A little bit of heat and a little bit of mess. Gotta heat them back up and press them in, I guess. Take it, taking you guys on a seniors tour today. Me and the three of you. Oh, we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen this river frozen over like this. Today we are going up here, kind of the direction of Jason's breakdown the other day, but in another zone, uh, just taking the couple old guys up. This is one of my dad's favorite kind of zones up here, so should be pretty mellow train, and then I can have some fun on the side too. afternoon I wonder if our bridge is still good or if it got flooded out <laughs> it's crazy how different it looks through here compared to the other day <laughs> It looks like you could just drive across anywhere right now. I mean, probably fall through the ice and sink, but. There, perfect. So we got Jerry mic'd up with a mic today. Uh, he's, his GoPro's not rolling yet, so you're not gonna hear him, but he can hear me talking right now. And, uh, should be pretty entertaining. There's gonna be a lot of bleeping because he swears just a little bit. Okay, just continue on the road, I'll catch up to you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I re I'm really screwed here now. Well, bear cave. It would have been fine if it just went straight, but we turned up towards the tracks. I always love it back here. Love the cave. There's a funny clip of uh, my dad rolling out of there. Go, oh, keep going! <laughs> Okay, hopefully I didn't just jinx him from doing that. 
I'm just doing it so I can sync the GoPros. Oh. Thought you wanted me to do it. All right, break the trail. Are these things still working? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just tell people what's going on here. We have got some Oxbo radios this year, and they also sent us some uh, intercoms for a helmet. You clear something they called. But right now we got one set up in my dad's helmet, one set up in my helmet. So you guys should be able to hear both of us, and we can hear each other. He's also a mic top. You there? Are you focusing too hard on riding or what? Can you hear me? Yeah. Did you hear anything I said? I can't, I can't really understand you when it's wide open. Okay. You can't understand me right now? Yeah, because I'm not right. Yeah, I guess it's kind of hard. up here for the sun but we got a little bit late start to the day today so not sure if that's gonna happen I think we'll go low down here might take <laughs> a sec for my dad to realize he has to actually talk hey Jerry you want me to talk like you mic me up for the GoPro yeah yeah what am I supposed to say <laughs> honestly <laughs> oh <laughs> Say that. <laughs> yeah, my uh, kid here is trying to make me talk into a GoPro. Our generation just uh, doesn't know what to say. So I get the pound going with. on the leg. Get a little thick up here. What happened to those other tracks? Do they even keep going? They were behind us a little while ago. I don't know about now. <laughs> Shit. Wow. How do you think the snow bike's gonna like that? I don't know if he can't understand me. He's kind of deaf in one ear, so he's only got one good ear. How do you think the snow bike's gonna like that? Hi, I don't know. Down at the bottom there was so deep I could barely move. Up here it's not <laughs> bad though. Yeah. Those guys drove all the way in here and then turned around. Probably ran out of gas, like Maybe. I said. Probably burnt a half a tank there. No, still good. Andy, here he comes. Here he comes. I gotta roost the shit out of you. Here I'll I 
tight the roost here at least a little bit or else it's going to be stuck. Yeah, I might be stuck. You should see the trench you left. You can try and back up a touch. Yeah, I'm good. I got bucked by a tree. If we went up the quick road over here, we'd be into the sun pretty quick, but I don't know. I don't like exposing ourselves to, to that, that face over there. Do you hear me? Yep. I'm trying not to burn all my gas. And overheat the belt. You're not overheating the belt. You're fine. Oh yeah, you're on a 165. I got this thing top. We're gonna cross a little creek up here somewhere. Oh shit! Don't follow that track. Holy crap! Where do you want me to go then? That's a big hole. Just beside it, okay or not? Yeah, go on. Uh, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Go on that side. You're, uh, you're left. We gotta get across that creek now and get back up on that road. You just cross the creek? Yep, follow me. Bank a little sooner, farther back. No, you're going follow me anyway. I wasn't worried for you guys, worried for the snow bike. Yeah, well, I went back down. Yeah, you snowed me and it knocked me out down the bank. Oh, he got up anyway. He just suck. <laughs> He's holding her wide today, that's why. Oh, <laughs> Doug, what was that? Doug, you know the trail's right here, eh? in the trees. <laughs> Matt was saying there's no old tracks. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but I can see three old tracks in here. Remember the older is wiser thing? Matthew doesn't believe that. What do you see here? A couple old tracks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, instead of going up through the trees, we'll just stay on the road to try and get to the sign before it's gone. Yeah. Gotta hang back a little bit. Stay out of the snow dust. Here, you can go ahead. I don't think we've ever taken the road up through here. I can hear you talking, but I can't hear you. No. I can't understand you. I can hear you. 
That's the volume for the old deaf guy, eh? Sorry, but my motor's revving so high I cannot hear what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Running third's gonna suck. What's that? Running third's gonna suck. You know we've never taken the trail up through here? Yeah, I never have. Yeah, I always make you go the hard way. Yeah, I don't think we'd make it up that way today. No. <laughs> All I can do to ride on the trail. I guess this 165 might have been better. <laughs> Wonder if there's any tracks in the bowl up top. Oh, let's get up there. Oh, we're waiting on a snow bike. It's right here. Can you still hear me? Or did the no, thing... it's shut off. Can you hear me? No, it shut off. I heard a, bang, a ding in my helmet. Over there, the now it's on. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? I guess it's hard for hard to make conversation when you can't hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, but you probably not to the pin like I am. <laughs> yeah. And it went quieter. The same thing? It says maximum something. Maximum volume. Okay. <laughs> you go first. close to him so I'm not in his freaking snow dust. You lead now. That's what us old guys need. <laughs> you can see much better in the sun. Yeah, we'll get up to the sun. We'll go up to the alpine over here. Old eyes have a hard time seeing. I can't see either, man. I'm not sure how this looks here. That's good, I think. Oh yeah. The 
that track just is not going to make this. We'll turn out and take a better run at this. Good place to blow a belt. Hey, it's a good thing you put a belt in your sled yesterday. Yeah, it's not a great spot to blow a belt, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, we were only wide open for a couple minutes coming up here. Here, I'll just trench it out. Want me to do one more? Should I put it up against your side panel like you would to me? You make a bit of a mess there, right? Eh? No shit. They're everywhere. How many kilometers? 2,400. You know, most people would just change their belt before that. <laughs> piece yeah, if you change your belt it kind of avoids these issues thousand K about it's lots well somebody doesn't give me a discount so oh yeah that's, yeah, that's in there really good no shit you gotta open your clutch yeah but I'm not sure how pry bar yeah you don't keep one handy <laughs> no New belt on, old belt. How's your clutch guard? <laughs> you gotta stop doing that, man. You're gonna get yourself one time. Up and over that. And like come down this open face and right down the ridge to like to those trees there. Just carve it. Oh! Mm -hmm. 
Definitely not a big jump by any means, but it's a fun little thing. Makes the more speed for it or a better lip. Watch out, Doug's coming. I'm getting belt slip, man. Stuck here. More belt slip. Like, I get it's deep and I gotta get. Oh shit. I'm almost out of gas. But, like, I get it's deep and I gotta get some snow in here, but the belt shouldn't be slipping like it is. I've never had that issue before. I don't know if it's these, like, Panel gaps, but like if we open the oil, look at that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. Jerry jumps. <laughs> Should have jumped into the fresh man. How are you for fuel? Three bars. I only got one bar. Yeah, yeah we should head out. I don't know how I burned all my fuel. My dad, my dad wants us to do one more pull up there even though we only have one bar of fuel. He's got three and I'm sure Doug has some so there's fuel somewhere. <laughs> Jesus man. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not going that way. Jeez. Backfiring like crazy. Is that, that's too much fun? <laughs> no. We're out of gas, Andy. Oh yeah? yeah? I got I got one bar. He's got well, three. Not out of gas, but enough gas to get back to the gas can. To the can. <coughs> deep. Where? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I think my snowmobile says it's deep. Deep. You got a lot of snow sticking to you, eh? Uh, it's a suit. It's been like that. I think 509 needs to send you a new suit. That'd be nice. I don't have a stitch of snow on me. Nobody does. Just me. <laughs> Ever since I bought it. Once again, he's out of fuel, but he just never stops. He can't help himself. He's got more energy than me. Yeah, Snickers. You stop and I'm sure you got at least one liter left. <laughs> if we look at the panel gaps here, compare them on this to Doug's sled. Look how much tighter that is. I'd say that's where my snow dust is getting in. That to that. Checking the oil. Oh! No snow. <laughs> Checking my oil. Oh, just a little bit of snow. You should see the difference. So along with that intercom, Oxbow sent us these uh, Renegade radios. So far, I'm loving them. Outstanding battery life. They never freeze up, ice up. Uh, everyone can always hear what I'm saying. And yeah, perfect mounting setup. I like having the radio right here. Um, I've ran the external mic before and I would always just have mic issues, so. 
highly recommend these. And uh, there's a link in the description for for 10% off if you're interested in picking one up. I think the link's mostly for Canadians. So if you're in the States, uh, I don't know. As for the intercom system, we'll have to play around with that some more and see if we can get it working a little better. Uh, I can hear my dad right now, but for some reason he can't hear me. Maybe I honestly might have just muted mine. Which I'm not sure how to even do, but... Pretty sweet sunset. Oh. There's still so much stuff I want to play around in, but we have no fuel. The days you wish you brought fuel are the days you think you weren't going to need it. And the days you bring fuel, you don't end up needing it. Not always, but... <laughs> That's quite the hole I had to jump across here this morning. Lucky I made it. Those ruts kind of suck, eh? The ruts, the ruts suck hard. <laughs> Zero bars. Made it back to fuel drop. And when I say fuel drop, it's just my dad's fuel. I didn't bring fuel today because, like I said, I didn't think I was going to need it. Uh, we had a super late start, like noon almost. And then I figured we we're just going to kind of take it easy. But getting up here, we, we burned it. What'd you say, Dad? I'm out of gas. How out of gas are you? I think. I think it's only because my spice up on do you need me to bring you gas or are you good? No, yeah, but let me see if I can get it going. That's gas. That's a can now, right? Yep, yeah, currently dumping all your fuel in my sled. Nice. <laughs> and I think today is one of the first times where all of my batteries are dead today. So no more GoPro the rest of the day. Uh, part of the reason is I had a GoPro on jerry there for a while so he used up one of the batteries this morning i was trying to decide whether i should take out my 165 or 146 and i almost loaded up the 146 but i'm definitely glad i didn't because i would have struggled up this this morning on a lot of the road and probably burned my fuel even quicker than i did you know i thought i'd be content having a 165 and 146 this year because i well i do still have 154s but um <clears throat> one's at the shop and one's not a turbo so i didn't want to ride it <laughs> but uh yeah i thought i'd be content without a 154 this year but turns out i am not i still wish i had a 154 for those kind of average days where i'm maybe not pushing super gnarly terrain but still have deep snow that we want to get around in so i think on our players 165 we might cut the tunnel and swap out the skid from the 9r into that so then uh we can go back and forth from from the boost 165 to 154 but uh or 155 do you need something you can't be better left yourself <laughs> there's like a leader in it <laughs> How are the other guys? I haven't seen them. No. no. I wanted to come to the gas before you took it all. <laughs> I was trying to get to, ga to the gas. <laughs> so then you wouldn't see me taking all your gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting a little chilly here. What? Waiting for the guys. And, uh, and we don't have much gas to be running back and forth. Uh, they're just stuck up the trail. We got them on the radio. So we may have fire for the meantime. Two of them, two of us. Whew. Not a very good fire, but I'm gonna warm our toes up here quick. And the guys are just rolled up and we're gonna roll out. Being a nice guy cutting the trail out. Man, it's really getting ambitious. The trail's pretty gross in spots through here. That took way too long to get out of the bush tonight. Look what's back. It's all green G5. Your chariot awaits. <laughs> no, I already told you that someone's got to buy that, so I don't have to. <laughs>